Good evening, everyone. I'm Melanie Hankins Booth, and I'd like to welcome you to the broadcast of the 2012 Startville Christmas Parade. We are broadcasting live here on the steps of the First United Methodist Church, where WOBV 5 originates, and we are looking forward to a great parade as usual. We have a special co-host this year. This is Hunter Upton. Hunter is the Director of Youth here at First United Methodist Church, and Hunter, it's going to be a great night. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. I'm so so excited to be here and thrilled to, to be a part of the parade. Well, it's six o'clock, folks, and as is true tradition, the parade has already started at the other end. It starts down at Russell Street, comes all the way through downtown on Main Street, and it should make its way here within 10 minutes. And so uh, we've got some business to take care of within those 10 that's, minutes. That's right. I understand that this is the 36th consecutive broadcast of the parade uh, made by WOBV uh, here, which started in 1976. and. Uh, that's also the same year that, it's, that the television ministry here at First Methodist started, is that correct? That is correct, and uh, we're all about technology here, which brings me to something very important that we'd like to tell the folks at home. We are actually doing live streaming of this broadcast on the internet, which means that you have time to alert your relatives, your friends, maybe even some servicemen overseas. Anybody that has internet access can watch the parade right now if they just go to www.parade dot wobv5.com and it'll be real simple once you go there uh, to just click on it and begin watching the live streaming and you have time to let folks know that our parade is being uh, streamed live as well as broadcast live here at in Starkville. And it's, it's amazing what technology can do these days and, and speaking of technology and another special feature that we have, we're excited to have this year's, uh, we're going to have this field reporter uh, and her name is Candice uh, Barnett and she is a senior broadcast journalism major at Mississippi State University uh, from Caledonia, Mississippi and so we're excited to have her. Yeah, so yeah. that always adds a lot to, we, that always adds a lot to our parade because we get the flavor of what's happening on the street. <laughs> and so Candace is there now. Candace, welcome. We're glad to have you with us. And do you have someone there for us to, to uh, speak with? Thank you so glad to be here today. I'm Candace Barnett. And I can't wait to get started and see some of these floats and everyone getting into the Christmas spirit here in Starville. Well, we are glad to have you, Candace. Thanks again. And, and tonight is Tuesday night, so there are some folks that are doing some pinch hitting for us because something happened last night on the regular schedule parade night. What happened, Hunter? Well, it unfortunately rained on our parade. It rained on our parade. But we were very proud that the uh, Greater Startville Development uh, Partnership knew that the rain was impending and so they went ahead and called the parade and uh, so we got to have our fun tonight and a lot of the work that uh, goes into it was just postponed for one day and now we've got great parade weather. Yeah, great parade weather, no rain for us tonight so that's, that's definitely a plus. Uh, definitely a little chilly though. Uh, last time I checked it was about 45 degrees outside and a slight wind out of the north so if you're out here we hope that you bundle up and, and you know, there's still time to join us That's here, right. even at the church. That's right, and this is a great place to come here uh, in front of the steps at First Methodist. There's a hill across the street, and you'll see families there, families with blankets uh, under them, and some families with blankets on top of them <laughs> uh, trying to warm up. You'll see folks bundled up in their coats, but we've got great lights here, and, and it's easy to stay warm. Absolutely. But do you know what I also heard, Hunter? I heard that as a special treat this year, along the parade route, there are some folks that are actually selling hot chocolate, to raise money yeah. for uh, some good causes, and then some other folks are actually giving hot chocolate away. Awesome, awesome. So that's great. I mean, I, I I don't see any any need to even stay home. So come on out. There's no excuse. Yeah. And again, we talked a little bit earlier, but we have a special guest. You know, our our parade theme this year is the Polar Express. Well, if you've read the Polar Express, you know that the main character is the conductor. He's sort of a mysterious fellow. So. It's not so mysterious, though, when you have him live with you, Oh, and we do. What a treat. What a treat. We have him on the street with our Phil reporter, Candace. Candace, do you have the conductor with you now? Yes, I'm here right now with the conductor of the Polar Express. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you. It's a nice to meet you, too. Well, I have my ticket here. Are you ready to punch it? Yes, let's punch it. You've got your seat. Enjoy the trip. It's I'm going to be set. wonderful tonight. Wonderful, wonderful trip. We are we're due to leave so here in just a few minutes. Conductor. But I don't want you to be late. You 
got to you know, be in your seat. If you if you watch, he's Please. got tickets that he's actually giving out. That's right. And those tickets are going to be punched tonight. And of course, what we're talking about, folks, is the parade theme this year, the Polar Express. That's right. The uh, Golden Starville, uh, the, the Greater Starville Development Partnership did a great job this year of really emphasizing the importance of our theme. Uh, and there was more excitement really this year, I think, Hunter, than I've seen in a long time about the theme of the parade. Mm -hmm. And I know that uh, that there's over 80 entries in the parade, which, and I know that the Greater Develop, the Greater Starville Development Partnership has done has made a great effort this year to really uh, make this whole idea and theme of Polar Express mm -hmm. uh, very. Um, just to integrate it in, in every ride, every float, um, mm -hmm. even even the walking units themselves uh, right. to make sure that they're kind of uh, right. in it. And so I, I think that it's just going to be a treat. I think so um, too. I think we'll see uh, some really great floats and there will be some walking units, but typically those will be the larger groups. You know, we've got our scouts like we always do, our Cub Scouts, our Boy Scouts. We have, um, we have walking units. We've got some new folks, some old folks. And then, of course, the judges that we have have a hard job in front of them because they will be judging. We've got some special judges tonight that, uh, that we want to tell you about. Miss Vanessa Young is a judge, and she's been a longtime citizen of Startville, and uh, she's a member of the Bethel Missionary Baptist Church. Vanessa is the wife of Frank Young and the mother of two, and uh, she's got some grandchildren or granddaughter, Tamara. Anyway, uh, she's an employee of the Head Clay County Head Start, and we thank Vanessa Young for being our judge. Mm -hmm. Uh, another uh, judge that we have is Elizabeth Reagan. Uh, Elizabeth was born and raised in Louisville, Mississippi. Uh, she graduated from Louisville High School in 2008 and enrolled at Mississippi State University shortly after. Um, in January of 2012, Elizabeth actually uh, took a job um, with uh, B. Davis Shoes and actually purchased B. Davis Shoes here uh, and took the dream job of her life and so she's really excited about that and upon Graduating in May of 2012, Elizabeth went to work transforming the store awesome. uh, that had once been hidden in Startville into a treasure awesome. that lots of people love. And she's and, proud of and, uh, just the support of the community. Yeah, and Chris Williams is our other judge, and he's a native of Meridian, a lifetime Bulldog fan. And he was uh, born and raised uh, on maroon and white, and it was a no-brainer to move to Startville. And uh, we appreciate his service to the Startville Christmas Parade. Um, and, you know, we were talking about judging criteria. You know, it's not an easy job to be a judge. Right. Um, every year um, they look for, Hunter, they look for best use of lights, best use of theme, uh, most original, and that's always a good that's one. <laughs> and then finally the grand prize uh, of the judges give is a best overall. Oh. And so they're four big, uh, they are four big criteria. Mm -hmm. And I think Candace is with the judges now. Candace, are you there at the judges table? Yes, I'm here with the judges right now, all three of them. Now, can you guys tell me what you're expecting to see tonight? We're really excited about all the lights and the use of theme this year that we're going to see. It was great. We were getting ready. Got to see everybody lined up. Uh, a lot of good stuff looks like it's coming tonight. Really excited to see the lights. Saw a lot of lights. So are you guys getting in the Christmas spirit? We are. I have been in the Christmas spirit ever since Christmas Open House downtown a few weeks ago. <laughs> Well, there you have it. The judges are ready. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thanks, Candace, and thanks to our judges. They better get set up and get ready. Absolutely. They're, they're going to have a, a probably a pretty tough job mm -hmm. tonight yeah. with, with all these injuries. So. Yeah. And, you know, they start off, we're going to start the parade with the uh, Starville High School Band. Yeah, the all-superior rated Starville High School Band will be leading off the parade. Um, unfortunately, this year, the famous Maroon Band at Mississippi yeah. State from Mississippi State University uh, couldn't join us uh, due to our rain delay, mm -hmm. but, we, but we'll miss them and we'll hope that they'll be back with us again next year for sure. So, Yeah, and uh, many thanks to the folks who are out here. Uh, I mentioned, I think we said it earlier, but the parade will be rebroadcast for the first time here on Starville Channel 5 tomorrow night at uh, 5 o'clock and then every Wednesday and every Saturday at 5 o'clock throughout the holiday season. So um, make sure you stay tuned for that, and then the live streaming will still be on the website that we gave you earlier Absolutely. anytime you want to watch it there online. But, you know, one of the most important parts of the Starville Christmas Parade is our few sponsors that help us. They, what they're doing actually is sponsoring this broadcast um, to make it possible for us all to come together as volunteers and pull off this broadcast. And so we want to take a minute right now and uh, go to a, a brief break and thank our sponsors of the 2012 Starville Christmas Parade. We'd like to thank this year's sponsors of the Polar Express, the 2012 Starkville Christmas Parade. Backstage Music. 
Rodan and Fields Dermatologists. Soli Pools. RSC Equipment Rentals of Starkville. Ziggy's Buy and Sell. Video Magic One. Bill Green Photography. Hydra Hawk. MSU TV Center. The Starkville GSDP. And by First United Methodist Church of Starkville. Welcome back to the broadcast of the 2012 Starkville Christmas Parade, steeped in tradition, Hunter. Absolutely. Some things that are um, that are just written in stone about the Starkville Christmas Parade. One of them is the choosing of the Grand Marshal. Mm -hmm. Each year, a very special Grand Marshal is chosen. Well, also in tradition, there is one man in town who for years and years have been, has been riding the parade route in reverse to get the crowd enthused and make everybody fired up about the parade. He assembles a group of uh, lovely ladies, goes and gets his flatbed trailer, truck trailer from his farm in Sessoms and brings them here to the parade. It is our pleasure that yeah, I mean, this, this man we all know and love, and that is Mr. John Robert Arnold, and it's my pleasure to announce that he has been selected as one of their two special Grand Marshals for the 2012 Starville Christmas Parade. That's right. The other Grand Marshal is Miss Ruby Nash Lewis Davis, now uh, a lifelong resident of Octibaw County and a valued member of our community and a, a member of First United Methodist Church and the Bridge Club. She was married to Punchy Davis, who uh, was the late uh, mayor of our city. I think he did uh, three terms as mayor and so uh, Ruby Nash, Lewis Davis and John Robert Arnold. That's right and both of these were recently proclaimed as the king and queen of Starkville's 175th birthday celebration. Uh, they were both classmates at Starkville High School and have been friends for years uh, making significant contributions to both Starkville and the Octobaha County um, and guess what? They both recently celebrated their 87th birthday. Wow. John Robert is married to Mary Ann Arnold, and together they have five children and many grandchildren. Um, and uh, Miss Ruby Nash also has three children, and uh, just still very, very important members of our community. And I'm thankful that we got to honor them as Grand Marshals this year for the 2012 Starville Christmas Parade. Absolutely. So glad. And I think it's not too long from now that we'll see them driving That's in a right. convertible behind us, uh, driven by Santa Claus and Mrs. Santa Claus, who uniquely flavor, favor the colorful Carol McReynolds Davis and Dr. Frank Davis. That's right. That's right. That's going to be quite the entry, uh, oh, yeah. quite the honor for the Grand Marshal in that nice fancy convertible coming through. Oh, yeah. But you know, we've already seen, uh, they showed us a glimpse on uh, television already that the blue lights are coming around the corner. And that's always our cue that it is very close to time for the Starville Christmas Parade. It is just around the that's corner. Right. Now, many folks are at home in the comfort of their own living room. One of those, my sweet friend, Miss Liza, she's there uh, enjoying her soup or whatever. But we still want to encourage you, especially if you come to the end of the route here in front of the First United Methodist Church. You've got plenty of time to see the parade. It's about 80 entries long, um, so it'll be a good hour, hour and a half. It's not too late to come join us. Uh, we're broadcasting uh, live over uh, our low power television station on channel five and we're also a part of the metrocast uh, cable network on channel five so stay tuned or, or come on down because we hear the, the police right. cars coming right behind us right behind us and, um, and definitely don't forget about the uh, the live streaming at parade.wobv5.com and so share that with all your friends and relatives put it on facebook put it on twitter whatever kind of way you need to so that your loved ones can uh, see see the parade coming through tonight. Yeah, and we'll go ahead and talk a little bit about the beginning of the parade because typically it comes by so fast that we don't get to spotlight mm -hmm. everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, the the Starkville Junior ROTC always leads the band off, leads the parade off, and they are the banner bearers. They carry the banner that right. portrays the theme every year. 
and then of course they're followed close behind by all the dignitaries and, and we will talk about them when they come but um, I have was recently watching the Starkville Junior ROTC present the colors at a Veterans Day program and those are some sharp young students and uh, very patriotic and I'm glad I had an opportunity to give a shout out to them because they do a good job Absolutely. I know they work very hard uh, to, to bring pride to their school and to their program. Well, Candace is our field reporter, and Candace is there on the street with uh, somebody special she wants to talk to about the Christmas parade. So let's go see what Candace has for us. Yes, I'm here with, what's your name? I'm Ben Brown. Ben Brown, and you are? Grayson Armstrong. Grayson Armstrong. Now, have either of you ever been to the Startville Parade before? Yes, ma'am. Yes? Yeah. And what are you expecting here tonight? Um, fun. Fun? What's your favorite part? Um, I don't, I'm not sure. Do you have a favorite? Um, not really. Just all of it? Yeah, yeah all of it. All of it. Well, thank you so much, boys. There you have it. Thank you, Candace. Uh, nothing like those children at the Starville Christmas Parade. That's you right. just never know. That's right. Well, um, back to the Starkville High School Yellow Jacket Battalion of the Junior ROTC. There are 150 cadets in the SHS Yellow Jacket Battalion, and the program began in 1993 and has continued to grow and remain an honor unit with distinction since 1994. They will be coming bearing the colors behind these uh, uh, cars, but it looks like, first of all, the police chief is leading us off. Uh, Chief Lindley, a great supporter of our parade and helps us coordinate uh, or helps the city coordinate for this. We appreciate Chief Lindley and there he is in the, uh, as the Starville Police Chief in the police car. Absolutely. Beautiful looking car there. And then we see some of our uh, policemen and we get to hear them. And we get to hear the <laughs> policemen do. as well uh, coming around the corner. And of course that uh, camera shot that you're seeing there, uh, the one now is uh, an overall view, but the one you saw there, we get the first action as it comes around the corner. Uh, and actually, this is the end of the parade route uh, as it be began at Russell Street, comes all the way down here. Um, oh, wow, it looks like our, our motorcycle policemen are, uh, are, are entertaining the crowd here. And I hear a band coming. Not too far behind them. I believe Mayor Parker Wiseman is also uh, riding in the car uh, and uh, I believe some of our maybe our aldermen are there or we may see them later later but the Polar Express theme again like we talked about earlier is portrayed on our banner here and is being presented by the Starkville Junior ROTC. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the Yellow Jacket, the Yellow Jacket Battalion cadets are called on by many organizations in the community uh, to present the colors uh, or provide other support throughout the year. Um, we're just very, very glad to have them and sharp looking bunch there. The captain is um, Captain Stacy Young and the battalion executive officer is Cadet uh, First Lieutenant Divian Rice. And there's our Mayor uh, Parker Wiseman another supporter of the parade. The instructor staff for the Junior ROTC is Lieutenant Colonel Charles D. Webb. Um, and we just appreciate them so very much. I believe I see my friend Kayla in there. Very disciplined young folks. Thank you for being a part of the parade. Now, you can see there that uh, a lot of effort goes into uh, getting things ready in front of our television production. Absolutely, our crew's been working all day long to, to make this production possible. The Starkville High School Band, uh, excellent, all superior rating band. Uh, members are all wearing their Santa hats and some even have their instruments festively decorated for Christmas. The Starville High School Band is marching all the way to the North Pole to see Santa, it says. The band is made up of 140 members and conducted by Mr. Sean Sullivan, who does a great job, I might add. The Starville High School Band has won awards for straight superior ratings at local, state, and national contests and placed first in the Disney Magic Music Day Parade. It currently holds the title of Grand Champions of Chunky River Marching Contest. Let's take a minute and listen to the Starville High School Band.
They do a great job, Hunter. And you know, that is a large band for a high school band. I wish uh, those youngsters good luck as they pursue some of them careers in music and scholarships, uh, maybe even here to Mississippi State to be part of the famous uh, Maroon Band. That's right. That's right. I actually have several students in the band, and so it's, it's great to see them and all the hard work they put in and, and just the ratings that they get, too. So I'm very proud of them. An excellent show they had this year, uh, The Sounds of Mississippi, where they featured Mississippi artists, uh, Faith Hill and Elvis Presley and the Canton Spirituals and uh, lots of other folks. Anyway, thank you to the Starville High School Marching Band. Here you see uh, Mr. John Robert Arnold and Miss Ruby Nash Lewis Davis coming in. They are our Grand Marshals uh, for the parade today. Living legends right there of Starville, Mississippi and Octiba High County and we are so glad to have them. And, and you know, I have to say that I love seeing Mrs. Claus there in the, in the uh, driver's seat with uh, John Robert and uh, Miss Ruby Nash. Uh, Mrs. Claus just doesn't get enough credit. She has to stay in in the North Pole just too often, and I just love that beautiful crocheted hat, and of course, Dr. Frank Davis that's driving as well. Miss Ruby Nash has a beautiful fur coat that she's had for a long time, and I have to take the time to tell you that John Robert, we did hear him run the parade route right backwards singing, and when he finishes as his Grand Marshal duties, he's going to get back on his flatbed truck and come with the ladies of Tri-Delta and continue to uh, get us fired up for the Starble Christmas Parade. That's right. I think it'll be a treat for all. Now we have Allie Beth Ingram, and Allie Beth is Little Miss Starkville. She is escorted by her father, Jason Ingram, in his 1923 Tea Bucket Hot Rod. Allie Beth has won and competed in several different pageants, such as Miss Magnolia State Ambassador title and uh, Little Miss Octibaha County. Allie Beth is four years old and attends the First United Methodist Church preschool program in Starkville. And Allie is sponsored by her parents' real estate company, the United Country Bulldog Realty. And we have an interview with Little Miss Starkville, Allie Beth Ingram. Candace, are you with Allie Beth? Yes, I'm here with Little Miss Starkville. Hey, Miss Star, how does it feel to be out in front of all these people? It feels great. And are you ready for Santa Claus to come visit? Yes. Well, thank you so much. Have a good rest of the parade. Miss Allie Beth Ingram, uh, Little Miss Starkville. I tell you what, that, that is one beauty queen in training there. Absolutely. Next, we have Starkville Recycling coming up. Uh, and of course, Starkville Recycling has the curbside pickup that we are all very, very appreciative of. You just put those green bags out, Hunter, and uh, on your scheduled day, and they alternate according to your garbage pickup, I understand. You put the recycling out, and they come by and pick it up, and that is a great service. Excellent service to the community. It especially helps us be uh, environmentally conscious. So. We see our conductor maybe handing out some Polar Express tickets to start World Recycling. Um, I'm sure that they recycle at the North Pole, well, of course. Well, absolutely, absolutely. Good job to our conductor. And then I saw a minute ago we had a, a shot of the Starville Electric Department's bucket truck. I have to give a shout out to the Starville Electric Department. You know, for years and years they supported us by letting us borrow this bucket truck, Hunter. Uh, actually, our shot of the overall street uh, mm -hmm. that we have now on a, a telescoping mast. But back in the day, we actually had a cameraman sitting or standing in the bucket of the bucket truck from Starville Electric. And we always appreciated them. Even looks like there's a polar bear riding with him too. He was in the bucket like our cameraman used to be. <laughs> now we have longtime supporters of the Starkville Christmas Parade. The crew from WCBI uh, Channel 4. I believe that is uh, Bill Gamble and Andrea Self. And we appreciate them so very much. Boy, I like that convertible there. And I like uh, Bill's earmuff there. He's, he knows what he's doing. And, and uh, Candace is with Bill right now. Candace, uh, you got the CBI crew with you. Yes, I'm like here with thing. the WCBI crew. Can you tell me what your favorite Christmas tradition was as a child? Uh, oh, wow. Uh, waking up. <laughs> <laughs> the anticipation of everything. All the Christmas presents under the tree just waiting for you. Absolutely, yes. Well, thanks so much, you guys. Have a great time. Oh, I think I heard, um, did I hear Andrea say that Santa Claus was her favorite part of Christmas? Is that I what think, she said? I think so. Hunter? Yeah. yeah. 
well. She does so much for the community, both of them do, and, and their special program spotlighting the city of Starkville. Thank you to WCBI, a longtime supporter of Starkville Christmas Parade. Coming behind them, I believe, will be the Starkville Dispatch. And uh, the dispatch family and their family members are riding aboard a festively decorated pontoon boat <laughs> and are joined by MSU football personality and coach Rocky Felker. Uh, the Starkville Dispatch has participated in the Starkville Christmas Parade for three years and has been serving the city of Starkville and Octobaha County its local area news and sports coverage for three years. The dispatch's parent company, the Commercial Dispatch, has been in publication for 133 years and it uh, also publishes Catfish Alley, a great magazine, Silver Wings, and the Columbus Air Force Base newspaper. And it looks like falling right behind them, sponsored by the Rotary Club, is Cub Scout Pac-14. And Pac-14 is a walking unit in their Cub Scout banners and uniforms on. Uh, Pac-14 is, act, is active in conducting local service projects in the Starville area and providing outdoor experiences and character building opportunities for youth through camping, fishing, and other related adventures. Pac-14 has earned the Quality Unit Award several times in the past and is currently competing for the Journey to Excellence Award. Cub Scout Pac-14 is chartered by the Rotary Club. The Pac has meetings every Monday night at 6 p.m. at the First Baptist Church. Oh, little Cub Scouts grow into big Boy Scouts. I just want to tell you that, okay? That's right, There's... and it looks like we have possibly one of these soon-to-be uh, Boy Scouts here. Now to Candace. Yes, I'm here with Cub Scout. What's your name? Jonathan. And are you excited to be here tonight, Jonathan? Yes. And can you tell me what your favorite part of Christmas is? Opening the presents. Opening the present. That's mine, too. Thank you so much. I saw that hat. Did you see that? I did see we that need hat. one of those. I and know. Did you notice that that was a reindeer? Okay. And I think that was a reindeer. Don't you think that was a I, reindeer? I, I think so. Well, I think that we would look good in those. And here. reindeer are central to the theme of the Polar Express. So very good, you know, because that the whole uh, getting the bell off of Santa's sleigh, mm -hmm. that's part of it. So go, go Cub Scout reindeer guy. Uh, following right behind uh, Cub Scout Pack 14, we have the Faith and Works Community Church uh, with their float, Just Believe. Uh, as Faith and Works Community Church takes on a magical ride to the North Pole, they anxiously await to experience the true spirit of Christmas. They laugh and play with the elves and other passengers on the Polar Express. All aboard, come and join Faith and Works Community Church located at 403 Martin Luther King Jr. Drive in Starkville. Faith and Works Community Church has been in existence for about seven years um, and they install Reverend John Tolliver as their pastor just recently and they're very excited about the blessings they have in store. Looks like following right behind them was the Starville Academy 7th grade cheerleaders. Uh, and we have Amy uh, Ammon, uh, Aubrey Claire Armstrong, Mala Davis, uh, just to name a few. Um, they've actually received some awards for most improved and second place in extreme routine. So we're, we're glad to have them. I believe on there was Maddie Peterson, Mackenzie Hunt, Grace Huddleston, Meredith Gill, and uh, some other folks. Mm -hmm. Coming uh, next is the junior high cheerleaders. The JV uh, cheerleaders from Starville Academy. And they are offering a uh, cheer for us here. Starville Academy JV cheerleaders are made up of 16 young ladies that are all ninth graders and they're coached by Dana Fant of Starville. And they play second in the Mississippi Association of Independent Schools cheer and dance competition. And it was held in Jackson. Now riding together, there we have Starville Academy's homecoming queen and Starville Academy Miss Volition. The homecoming queen is Peyton Diana Allen, and the uh, Miss Volition is uh, Marilyn Diane Jackson, or Meryl as we know, there, know her, and uh, Candace is with both of them. Candace? Yes, I'm here with Peyton Allen and Meryl Jackson. And are you guys excited to ride on the Polar Express tonight? We're really excited. It's been really fun. It's a great turnout this year. Okay, and I'm going to need both of you to tell me what is your favorite Christmas tradition? Presents? <laughs> Santa. Presents and Santa. Thank you girls so much. Thanks. 
Thanks, Candace. Again, uh, Miss Volition is Meryl Jackson, the daughter of Tony and Nikki Jackson, and uh, uh, has been a cheerleader for five years and uh, an all-star cheerleader for three years on student council, anchor club, the junior auxiliary crown club, and, and riding with her was Peyton Yeah, Allen. it was, was Peyton Dina Allen, uh, the daughter of David and Cindy Allen, and she's a member of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, crown club, and anchor club, and we're, we're glad that they are joining us. The varsity cheerleaders from Starville Academy are made up of 10th and 12th grade girls girls, uh, 10th through 12th grade girls from Starville Academy. Their squad is coached by Lisa Atwell and uh, currently have 17 active members. And they uh, attend UCA cheerleader camp this past summer and won first place. Camp cheers uh, and extreme routines. They've also won third place. They did great. It looks like following behind them is the Lady Blues dance team of, of Starville Academy. And, and it consists of 13 uh, young ladies who support their school through dance, their, their dancing talents. Uh, they perform at Starville Academy football and basketball games throughout the year. Um, they've attended multiple uh, competitions this year and received second place all superior for their home routine girls at the UDA dance camp this past summer. We always appreciate Starville Academy and their participation, a fine school over there. Next we have Clark Beverage Group coming up and riding a 1956 Chevrolet Coke truck and uh, with the polar bear. Clark Beverage Group has been in business since 1903 with over 200 employees and it's a fourth generation Clark family business and we always love that uh, old Coca-Cola truck. Looks like the conductor is passing out one of his passes or one of his tickets to the Polar Express. That's right. And I'm sure that that young lady was like, okay, now what do I do with this? <laughs> All in the fun of uh, enjoying our theme, the Polar Express. Following right behind the, uh, the Clark group, uh, we have the Josie Creek Missionary Baptist Church group, and they have an antique car owned and driven by Mr. John James. Inside the car is Miss Nettie G. Rush, who celebrated her 100th birthday and 100th Christmas. Oh, the wow. The church would, be, would like to honor Miss Nettie G. Rush for her awesome lifespan. Uh, she's been a member at J.C. Creek for over 75 years and celebrating her 100th birthday on November 23rd with her 12 children, 29 grandchildren, 29 great-grandchildren, and 25 great-great-grandchildren. Wow. The Josie Creek Church would like to invite all senior citizens from the community to participate in their Tuesday morning Bible study from 1030 to 1130. And uh, Josie Creek is located on uh, Highway 182 West with Reverend Thomas Rogers as the pastor. Following behind them, we have the Rolling Hills Development Center um, and their ride, the A Polar Bear Christmas. Mr. Polar is taking his first look at Christmas and wonders why all the children are dancing and singing. He watches as the Polar Express zips past him with so many happy children with excitement in their eyes, watching every movement they make. Rolling Hills has been a part of the Starville community since 1976, serving the needs of 140 residents with developmental and physical disabilities. The Octemba Hall County 4-H is here next, and they are riding on a festively decorated trailer that looks like a train with children dressed in their pajamas. There are stories being read and cookies being uh, eaten with hopes and dreams of seeing St. Nick. S4H has participated in the Starville Christmas Parade for six years straight and has 12 community clubs and one in-school club. Oh, I'm seeing another conductor, maybe uh, giving our conductor a little run for his money. That's awesome. <laughs> maybe so. Some of the most pro popular project areas for the Octavia Hall County 4-H are citizenship, expressive arts, livestock, interior design, photography, and robotics. And for more information, you can contact Latrell Stokes. And that conductor is calling everyone all aboard. That's right. I think they're getting ready for the Polar Express. Octibaha County 4-H, always very active. I enjoy seeing in the paper when our young people have won awards on a state level, and that happens quite often. I think we may be going on to the uh, Truth Tabernacle Church. Truth Tabernacle Church with their float theme, Believe. Uh, Truth Tabernacle is riding on the Polar Express with a Believe sign. On the float they have the pastor's wife and some other members singing along with Miss Patty Childers as she plays the saxophone. Truth Tabernacle is currently in the process of building a family life center that will house a full basketball court, a fitness area for men and women, a game room, 
an arcade area, a restaurant, a walking track, a coffee barn, and other multi-purpose rooms for their church family and the Starville community. Wow, uh, and there she is playing the saxophone. Well, no, that's what the card says, but I don't believe that. Yeah. Was it? Yeah, was? I, can, I can hear her. Okay. Well, that's a nice touch. Every year we have some neat, unique new entries, and, and we appreciate Truth Tabernacle Church for that entry. Blue and White Family. This is sponsored, this is a float sponsored by the Zeta Phi Beta Sorority. Uh, all aboard the Blue and White Express. The Blue and White Family are riding in a black SUV driven by one of their members. Uh, their float is colorfully decorated with lights and blue and white decorations. The Zeta Phi Beta Sorority has received awards such as the Z Hope, uh, which is the Zeta Helping Other People Excel Award. And they also have received an award for their Social Action and Health Justice Award. Um, the uh, Pi Iota Zeta, which was chartered on March 5th, 1996, and the uh, Epsilon Theta MSU was chartered on, in October of 1977. Let me take this opportunity to thank them as part of Mississippi State University and encourage other Mississippi State University groups to join our Christmas parade next year. That's right. It's always great to have the university be part of the greater Starville community. And Cub Scout Pack 45, Cub Scout Polar Express is who they are, and they're all dressed in their pajamas because, of course, they'll be catching a ride on the Polar Express in hopes of seeing Santa Claus. Cub Scout Pack 45, which was formerly known as 27, was adopted by First United Methodist Church in 1992 um, and with Gene as Cub Master. Pack 45 has been preparing young boys for their advancement into Boy Scouts ever since. Pack 45 is currently the largest pack in the community with 106 boys and 28 trained adult leaders. Jason Tiffin is the current Cub Master of Pack 45. And they've got a great banner there. Merry Christmas from Cub Scout Pack 45. And it, it's amazing what what you know Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts is doing for young men around this country, and especially here in Starville. And just to, it's great to see the impact that they're making and that it's making on their lives. Wow! It looks like they've got true steam coming up from that uh, Polar Express that that's going by. And I love this, that they're in their pajamas. I didn't tell you this, Hunter, but there were rumors that everybody on set had to be in their pajamas this time. And, uh, well, and well, we I'm, could have done that. It, that would have made us ready for the Polar Express when the time came. Well, we, we would have been ready to jump on, but I, I, I have to say, I think I'm kind of thankful that we're not. <laughs> it would be a little chilly. It would be a little chilly. And that is uh, Reindeer Railways, it says. Our conductor has a lot of folks right there. there. He's handing these tickets out to the Polar Express, folks in anticipation of getting to see Santa Claus. Because, of course, uh, you know, the story goes that one special child from the Polar Express is selected to get a special present from Santa. And uh, you might think that kids would want big extravagant gifts, but sometimes they don't. That's as right. As is the little boy in the story. That's right. It looks like following behind them is Miss MSU Jasmine Murray. Um, in the 2013 Miss Mississippi State University is Miss Jasmine Murray. Uh, Jasmine is the daughter of Lisa Murray of Starkville and Samuel Murray of Illinois. Uh, a graduate of the Mississippi School of the Arts, Jasmine is currently a freshman at Mississippi State uh, studying communication. At the age of 15, Jasmine was crowned Miss Mississippi's Outstanding Teen and was at the top and was a top 10 finalist at Miss America's Outstanding Teen Pageant in 2007. Ja Candace, do you have Miss MSU 2013? Yes, I'm here with Miss MSU right now. Now, Jasmine, can you tell me what you're, how you'll be celebrating Christmas this year? Well, this Christmas I plan on being in San Antonio, Texas with the rest of my family. Uh, my sister and my mom and my brother and everybody will probably be out there. So I'll be spending time with them and just enjoying the holidays. And that's what the holidays are all about, spending time with family. Thanks so much. Back to you, Mel and Hunter. Thank you to Miss Jasmine Murray. Jasmine was also a top 13 finalist on the hit reality show American Idol uh, during season eight. Uh, she's written and recorded numerous songs and is currently serving as the, one of the worship leaders at Pond Lake Church in Starville. Uh, Jasmine is named first runner up in the 2012 Miss Mississippi pageant, uh, in addition to being uh, one of the talents and evening wear winners. 
Um, and it's so great that she represents Mississippi State uh, and can compete for the Miss Mississippi title in the summer of 2013. Coming up next is Community Counseling Services uh, entry called Community Counseling Express. And here comes the CCS Express. The train is carrying community counseling employees and their children and is heading to Christmas Village to deliver presents to Santa. With hot cocoa and their tickets in hand, the children wait anxiously for their arrival to Christmas Village. Community Counseling has been serving Octibaha County since 1974, and CCS consists of seven counties and 5,306 clients. What a great service Man. to our community, and always a great supporter of Starville Christmas Parade. Absolutely, it's good to see them in the parade. In their pajamas, of course, <laughs> ready for their ride on the Polar Express. Community Counseling Services. That looks like a fun float to ride on. You know, let me take a minute while we're looking at these guys and thank one of our sponsors, Backstage Music, who's always been so helpful. They have been serving musicians since 1978, and this Christmas they have some great gift ideas with lots of instruments and accessories that are in stock, and they invite you to visit them either in person at Highway 12 or online at backstagemusic.com. Thanks to Backstage for their sponsorship this year. It looks like following uh, them is, is the Octibaha County Hospital Regional Medical Center's Float Hot Chocolate Express, uh, serving care that warms the soul. Inspired by the hot chocolate scene in the, whole, in the Polar Express, uh, OCH's float comes to life with children drinking hot chocolate and dancing waiters as the train travels past snow-covered trees. The hot chocolate song from the movie plays as the OCH Regional Medical Center train makes its way to the North Pole. OCH has participated in the Christmas Parade for over 10 years and has won Best Use of Lights, Best Overall, and Best Use of Theme. OCH Excellent. is also the second largest employer in Octibaha County and will be celebrating 40 years in 2013. Excellent Polar Express spirit there. OCH has been a big winner many times in the past. I remember that. It looks like they've got a pretty good uh, float in the parade this year as well. That was OCH Regional Medical Center. The Starville Housing Authority's Residence Council is sponsoring the Starville Housing Express, is what they're calling their entry. And they have the Housing Authority van riding in the van. They is Larry Gray, who's the senior president, Alvin Turner, the vice president, Yvette Williams, Dorothy Tate, Letitia Bush, and Josephine Ward. Starville Housing Authority is an outreach program providing low-income families in the Starville area with decent, safe, and affordable housing. They've been helping families in the Starville area for years and hope to continue to provide for the Starville community. Thank you to the Starville Housing Authority Resident Council. While we're taking a, a moment here, well, the, here are the Octibaha County Supervisors. Let's go ahead and talk about them. Yeah, our Octibaha County Board of Supervisors. Um, who, who, who's on it? We have District 1 Supervisor John Montgomery, uh, District 2 Orlando Trainer, uh, District 3 Marvell Howard, uh, District 4 Daniel Jackson, and District 5 Joe Williams. And coming behind them is the Octibaha County Sheriff Department. Now that, folks, is a brand new sheriff's car. The Progressive Starkville, uh, I mean, Octavale County Sheriff's Department got new uniforms, they have some new cars, and they just have a great progressive attitude. Uh, Mr. Gladney's doing a, uh, Sheriff Gladney's doing a great job for us. Um, it's the mission of the Octavale County Sheriff's Office to provide fair and impartial and uh, professional public services. And you know, they recently received, and, and I'm gonna talk about this and then we'll talk about the Justice Court judges, but they received a state accreditation, our Sheriff's Department did, and only five Sheriff's Departments in the entire state have that accreditation. And so that was a big plus. We thank uh, Sheriff Gladney for his participation in the That's parade. right, and, and we just saw just a few seconds ago the Justice Court judges um, of Octibaha uh, County. Uh, riding in the car, they had uh, Judge William Tony uh, Boykin, uh, Judge uh, W.B. Crump, and Judge James uh, Jim Mills. And so wishing and hoping everybody has a blessed holiday. 
OSERVES, the Octavia Hall Starville Emergency Response Volunteer Service team, that they are wearing Christmas t-shirts and Santa hats and they're riding on the Starville fire truck. The 2012 Bully Graw King and Queen are riding in a convertible. And the purpose of OSERVES is to work in conjunction with Octavia Hall County Emergency Management Agency and the Mississippi Office of Homeland Security. In addition to educate and provide the citizens of Octavia Hall County with information in case of emergency. And it looks like we have um, the Armstrong Middle School Band. I think is coming up. Yeah, we. I think Candace has an interview for us. Candace. No. Well, all right. Well, we're going to thank one of our sponsors real fast, uh, Rodin and Fields Dermatologist. This is the season for great skin, and Rodin and Fields Dermatologist uh, is committed to offering real people real results with their skin care. For more information, contact independent consultant Kathleen Oliveri at 662-418-1166. Rodin and Fields, changing skin, changing lives. And I believe that's Rodin and Fields, and they're doing Rodin. a great job. Uh, Shout out to Kathleen Oliveri. Now the Armstrong Middle School Band group is comprised of approximately 130 seventh grade and eighth grade students at Armstrong under the direction of uh, Kathy Baker, Karen Dickman, Doug Thomas, and Demario Jefferson. The band is performing the holiday classic Jingle Bell Rock. And let's take just a second and listen to Jingle Bell Rock by the Armstrong Middle School Band. Armstrong Middle School Band. Hunter. I see lots of familiar faces in that crowd. And following right behind the band there, we have the uh, Armstrong Junior Cadet Corps. Uh, the Armstrong Middle School Junior Cadet Corps it will be marching and singing military chants. Uh, the Corps is made up of students from Armstrong Middle School grades 7 and 8. The principal of Armstrong Middle School is Miss Elizabeth Mosley. Uh, the instructor of the Junior Cadet Corps is Sergeant uh, Renando Bowen. Uh, this is their first year participating in the Christmas Parade and so we're glad to have them. Um, the Junior Cadet Corps is the first uh, 7th and 8th Junior Cadet Corps in the state of Mississippi. Their future plans are to go to Dallas and Fort Worth, Texas and compete against other Cadet Corps from all over the United States. The competition will take saw, place on April 6th. Yeah, I saw just then Mr. Keith Fennell, uh, just, uh, excuse me, Candace is with him now, the principal at Starwell High School. Candace? Yes, I'm here with the principal now, and I understand you have a pretty big game coming up. We do. We have a big game coming up, but we're really proud about the parade tonight. We're well represented. Coming in behind us right now, Armstrong cheerleaders and the varsity cheerleaders are coming up. But the uh, parade tonight was led off with the Starkville High School ROTC and uh, the band. But, yeah, that's that's a, making a special start to a week that's going to end in Jackson at the state championship 5A football game. We're looking real forward to that. It's our second opportunity uh, to compete at that level. And I'm, I'm pretty confident we're gonna bring back that gold ball this year. <laughs> so you guys are looking to start off Christmas with a big bang, hopefully a big win. That's right. We're gonna ask Santa to bring us back a gold ball for the state championship. And uh, we've been pretty good this year and uh, real good last year as well. So I think we're gonna be able to get our wish come true. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you, Candace, uh, Mr. Keith Fennell, uh, doing a great job at Starville High School. And I agree, I think the Yellow Jackets are going to bring home that trophy this year, Hunter. Close That's last year, it's ours this year. That's right, I'm excited about this this Friday's game, or the Saturday's game, excuse That's me. right, Saturday in so. Jackson at the uh, Veterans Memorial Stadium. Mm -hmm. It'll be a big deal, seven o'clock. It's also gonna be broadcast on PBS if anybody wants to stay home and watch it here in, in Starville. Miss Magnolia's outstanding team for 2012, Miss Leah Gibson and Miss Magnolia's princess, Olivia Stevenson, are there with our street reporter, Candace. Candace, what do you have for us? Yes, I'm here with Miss Magnolia and our little one over here. Now, can you guys tell me, are you excited about being in the parade tonight? We're so excited about being in the parade. We've been looking forward to this all week. I love being in the parade and it's really fun. Now, can you girls tell me what is your favorite Christmas food? 
uh, dressing, and dessert. Dessert. <laughs> dessert. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks you Candace. Guys. Thanks, Candace. I recognize uh, Leah. She is the, the host of My Morning Jacket, a special uh, program that they do every morning at Starkville High School to uh, make the announcements known to all the students. And she's the daughter of Kelvin and Tamara Gibson and has a lot of great things going for her. She uh, reaches teens statewide as a second year member of the Mississippi Student Advisory Board in Jackson. Uh, which is the voice of the Mississippi Youth for Highway Safety. And uh, she's been, uh, she selected her cousin, that was Olivia Stevenson, as her princess. And Olivia is a second grader at Suddeth Elementary and the daughter of Mr. Dr. Tommy and St. Shelby Stevenson. The looks following right behind them is the Golden Triangle Boys and Girls Club. Um, and this is their Boys and Girls Club Polar Express Choir. Uh, the Boys and Girls Club members are riding on the Polar Express train. They are riding and singing all the way to the North Poles in hopes of Santa hearing their beautiful children's voices. Uh, the Boys and Cl Girls Club offers after school programs and all day summer programming. With over 120 members, dedicated staff, and committed volunteers, they provide programming in the areas of education and careers, character and leadership, health and life skills, the arts, music, sports, and fitness programs. Their club programs and services promote and enhance the development of boys and girls by instilling a sense of competence, usefulness, belonging, and influence. The Boys and Girls Club is a place to grow and learn while having fun. It's a place where great futures start every day. And it looks like these guys are having a lot of fun and portraying the theme of the Polar Express. I think they're doing it very good. Another of our sponsors that have uh, help make this broadcast possible is Sobley Pools and they build granite, fiberglass and vinyl liner in ground pools as well as above ground pools. Uh, Sobley Company has become one of the largest pool construction companies in the southeast and uh, you can visit them online at SobleyPools.com. Thanks to them. Looks like that Starville Manor right there, uh, sponsored by the Starville Manor Nursing Home. All aboard the Starville Manor Express. The Starville Manor residence van is decorated as the engine from the Polar Express. And riding in the van with their train conductor are some of the residents. And walking alongside are some of the wonderful employees. Starville Manor has been providing nursing care for the community for over 38 years and running. They specialized in short and long-term skilled nursing care. Starkville Manor employees would like to thank the people of Starkville for their support for over the years. Happy holidays from the Starkville Manor family. Pine Grove Missionary Baptist Church Youth Department has an entry called Only When You Believe. Pine Grove Missionary Baptist Youth Department wanted to represent their church in this year's Christmas parade by taking the Polar Express theme and creating a dreamy, wintry outdoor scene. Their youth department believes that all things are possible if only you believe. Pine Grove recently celebrated 137 years uh, church anniversary. It was organized in 1875, located in the Octoc community at 1355 Bluff Lake Road in Starkville and where you, you will find spiritual guidance through worship, Bible study, Sunday school, and prayer services. They are a church committed to winning, winning and bringing souls to Christ. Reverend Brown serves as pastor of the church and has been there since 1994. Don't you just love to see a youth group being involved in the community, Hunter? Absolutely. Looks like following right behind them is A&A Bonding Company, and right, as you see on the top of their van is is a snowman that says burn, it's definitely chilly outside. Uh, this is the ANA Freedom Express. Uh, driving the ANA Freedom Express truck is the owner of ANA, uh, Debbie uh, Dinsmore. And inside is her four beautiful grandchildren, Michaela, Isabel, Hazley, and Kobe. ANA Bell Bonding Company serving the state of Mississippi, located across from the Sheriff's Department. As for Debbie Dinsmore, your lifeline to freedom, open 24-7. And now we have Miss EMCC Golden Triangle Campus, and she is Chastity Swopes. Chastity is the daughter of Patrick and Cheryl Swopes of Startwell, and currently attends EMCC in Mayhew, where she is studying pre-pharmacy and holds a 4.0 GPA, Hunter. Chastity's goal is to become a successful pharmacist. And she's a member of EMCC Ambassadors and Phi Theta Kappa National Honor Society. She's a sophomore. She was a sophomore maid, president of the Phi Theta Kappa National Honor Society, Miss EMCC, and the President's List. Candace, our field reporter, has Miss Chastity Swopes. 
Yes, I'm here with Miss EMCC. Now, how excited are you to be out here tonight? I'm very excited. Um, I just, I just very thankful to be Miss EMCC. I wasn't expecting it at all. Um, a lot of people are deserving of it at our school, so I'm just very thankful for it. Now, can you tell me what is your favorite thing about EMCC? Basically, the overall setting. It's really family oriented. Everyone is pretty close together. The teachers and the staff they really help you out if you need help with anything. So it's really just a great school overall. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks. Back to you, Melon Hunter. Thanks to Miss Chastity Swopes, Miss EMCC Golden Triangle Campus. Lovely. Right. We'd like to thank one of our sponsors real fast, uh, Hawk Skata. Hawk Skata provides affordable Skata and remote control products uh, for Mrs. Palatis water systems and other public works. Hawk's corporate offices are located right here in Starville, Mississippi, and you can visit them online at hawkremote.com. The Raspit Flight Research Lab is represented here by the Raspit's Polar Express train. Now, Raspit Research Lab is part of Mississippi State University's Bagley College of Engineering, and it proudly presents their 2012 entry, the train built on a 1954 Buick Roadmaster convertible that is used as a ground test vehicle at the laboratory. This is Raspit's third year participating in Starkville's Christmas Parade, and it has been awarded the most original float before in 2007 and the best use of lights in 2008. It, uh, Raspit Research Lab founded in 1948. Now that would be the Starkville Fire Department. Uh, Chief Roger Mann. The Starkville Fire Department's vision is committed to having highly trained firefighting, a firefighting force with the best equipment possible and the lowest fire rating possible. This is accomplished through training, fire prevention, inspection, and investigation programs enhanced by the attitude of all personnel. We thank the Starkville Fire Department for their support of the Starkville Christmas Parade. That's right, and I, and I don't know if they are on the actual fire truck or if they're following behind in cars, but we have the Starkville uh, Board of Aldermen, uh, and those would be Ward 1, Ben Carver, Ward 2, Sandra Sistrunk, Ward 3, Eric Parker, Ward 4, Richard Corey, Ward 5, Jeremiah Dumas, Ward 6, Roy Perkins, and Ward 7, Henry Vaughn Sr., and we're so glad to have them uh, riding along. American Legion Post 240 was chartered by Congress in 1919 as a Patriotic Mutual Help Wartime Veterans Organization, a community service organization which now numbers nearly 3 million members, men and women, and nearly 15,000 American Legion Posts worldwide. Now, American Legion Post 240 was chartered on December 4, 1952, and they have members from every conflict from World War II to the present. Again, that's the American Legion Post 240. Sweet Pepper's Deli is coming up next. Eat With Us is the name of the group that consists of Harvey's, The Grill, Sweet Peppers in Columbus, Starville, and Tupelo, and has been awarded various Mississippi Magazine awards such as Best Sweet Tea and Best Deli. Sweet Peppers has been making people happy since 1981. Their first location was the famous Bulldog Deli mm -hmm. in 1981, and since franchising in 97, they have 18 corporate and franchise locations in four states. And uh, I wouldn't say that I remember the original Bulldog Deli in 1981 because, of course, I am too young for that, but it, <laughs> they made a mean blitz. I'm just going to say that. I have to say, I, I did enjoy the blitz when they had it. So, uh, We'd like to take a, take a moment to thank another sponsor. Uh, Ziggy's Buy and Sell is the place to go in Starville for consignment, antiques, and vendor booth rentals. Uh, Ziggy's is a great supporter of WOBV5 and the Starville FUMC and is now under new ownership and one of our very own camera persons, uh, Leslie Watts. And so go to Ziggy's on Highway uh, 12 next to the Army Navy Pond. Also like Ziggy's Buy and Sell on Facebook uh, for great deals and information. There you go. And again, that was Sweet Peppers. I believe his name was Petey Pepper. Petey Pepper. Headed to uh, the North Pole there. Miss Catherine Schringer is the SHS Miss Yellow Jacket 2012, and she has participated in band, cross country, swim team, and cheerleading. She's a straight A student at Starville High School, and as a sophomore this year, was crowned by her sister, Mary Elizabeth. And that was the first time in SHS, SHS history that a sister has won back to back with another sister. That's awesome. Well, we're glad to have her uh, joining us in the parade. And Candace, our street reporter, has Miss Catherine Schringer. 
Yes, I'm here with Miss Yellow Cat. Now, can you tell me what's number one on your Christmas wish list? The number one thing on my Christmas list is a pair of rain boots because I've been needing them really badly. Especially with all the rain we've been having. <laughs> Definitely, especially yesterday. With the... Well, thank you so much. A lot of folks would have needed those rain boots if we had gone on with the Starbucks Christmas Parade yesterday. <laughs> That's right, and it, it definitely rained yesterday, and so we're, we're thankful that they, they at least, we, we could read a forecast. There you again, go. So. The Starville High School Varsity Cheerleaders are school spirited and their Christmas spirit with us here tonight at the Starville Christmas Parade uh, is shown as they are coached by Kim Williams of Starville. They play second in cheer and extreme routine and they are also third in home palm. Uh, Mark Ann Hobart, Madison Morgan made All-American Cheerleader and Leah Gibson, Mark Ann Hobart, Jalen Montgomery received the Pennant Forward Award. That's the Starville High School Varsity Cheerleaders. We can hear them doing some cheers now. I'd like to know more about the pin it forward. I wonder if that's like the pass it forward. Yeah. That and was Starville High School, the varsity cheerleaders. And I'm sure they'll be performing for us at, uh, at, at Jackson. At the this, big game this, this, this Saturday. This Saturday. So. Mr. Gabriel Miles and Miss Jalen Montgomery are the SHS homecoming king and queen. Gabe is the son of Eddie and Andrea Miles and is the quarterback of the SHS football team, member of the track team, National Honor Society Key Club, and Jackets in Motion. And he's the youth president at Second Baptist Church, and he plans to attend Mississippi State on a football scholarship. Uh, Miss Jalen Montgomery, the SHS, SHS queen, excuse me, is the daughter of Eric Atkins and Marcus Montgomery. Uh, Jalen is the uh, SHS uh, cheer captain, a member of National Honor Society, the Junior Humane Society, the Junior Historical Society, the Key Club, Mu Alpha Theta, the Coexist Club, and FCA. Jalen plans to attend MSU and later become a radiologist ultrasound technician. Shout out to our quarterback, Gabe Miles. Good luck uh, on Saturday. Cub Scout Pack 11 is sponsored by the Kiwanis Club, and the name of their entry is Believe. Cub Scout Pack 11 is riding a nice decorated float with the golden Believe tickets on either side of the float. The Christmas tree in Boy Scout colors, two pack flags front and rear, and one American flag. Now, Pack 11 has been recognized for having more than half of the Scouts participate in summer activities. They received the Journey of Excellence Award and for, for participating in annual popcorn sales, as well as a food drive that benefited the Salvation Army. That is Cub Scout Pack 11. We'd like to take some time now to thank one of our other sponsors, Video Magic One, uh, and their owner, Andy Bryant, have been a longtime supporter of the Starville Christmas Parade and WOBV5. Uh, Video Magic One specializes in tape and film transfers. This Christmas, why not convert your old VHS tapes and film to long-lasting DVDs? This makes great presents for parents and grandparents. Visit Video Magic One at 113 Stark Road or online at videomagicone.com. I believe Mr. Andy Bryan is on one of our cars, I mean on one of our cameras right now, thanks to Andy. The MSU Eco Car 2 team, they have a reindeer float. Mississippi State's Eco Car team has decorated the car to look like that reindeer, and driving the car is Blake Brown, who's the team leader. The other people inside and walking with the car are Kim Torres, Josh Hoop, John Moore, Stephen Hayden, and Brooks Davis. Now this team placed first overall in the intercollegiate engineering competition and is currently in the process of re-engineering a 2013 Chevy Malibu into a series parallel hybrid vehicle for the 2013 competition. They also placed first among 14 other engineering schools four times out of the past eight years, the most recent being this May. And I believe Candace has an interview with the uh, MSU, well no I'm not sure, Candace who are you with? I'm here with Claire Ficini and she's with the Eco Car. Can you tell me a little bit about the Eco Car? Well, the Eco Car team is from Mississippi State and it's a three year intercollegiate competition for engineers. And right now we're in our second year. And what we're doing is actually building a hybrid vehicle. And last year we won the championship and um, hoping to do that again this year. Okay, well, thank you so thank much. Y'all have a great night. The KMG Creations Children Dance Company, their entry is the Dream Team, and they are performing a jazz dance routine that's choreographed by Miss Kayla Gilmore to the soundtrack tunes of Polar Express. Hot Chocolate by Tom Hanks with a touch of Freddie Astaire style, and it says Freddie Astaire style. 
And in 2009, KMG won Most Original, and in 2010, they won the Best Walking Unit. And they promote healthy living, wellness for all ages, and KMG offers personal training, aerobics classes, dance classes, and individual classes. Looks like falling right behind them is the Starville Cowboys football and cheerleaders. Uh, this is their Little League team, and it consists of uh, teaching all players the fundamentals of football. They also teach them leadership skills on the football field as well as leadership in everyday life. The players know that they must respect their parents, teachers, coaches, and all adults, as well as respect themselves. They team, the team and cheerleaders are taught to get a good education and to be, how to be good boys and girls. And that's the KMG Creations uh, dance team doing their routine. Those young people work so hard, and Miss Kayla Gilmore does so much for our community, not to mention the fact that she has an absolutely beautiful smile and a big heart for Christ. And the girls look like they have put a lot of practice into this and are performing a show right here. If you were on the hill across the street, you could see the KMG uh, Creations children doing their dance routine. Let me take a minute and thank RSC Equipment Rental of Starkville. Uh, they are letting us use some of their equipment during our parade coverage, and we appreciate them and ask that uh, if you have any rental needs, visit RSC Rentals for all your needs. They are dancing. I believe that we may get to talk to Kayla later, and we thank them for their participation in the Starville Christmas Parade. Looks like following behind them, we have 810 Yard Methodist Church, all aboard for Jesus. 810 Yard Methodist Church has created a passenger train, carrying children to the magical place where they will see Santa. The children will have their tickets ready to enter into the North Pole, just like you uh, have to know and believe in Jesus to enter heaven. We will all need to get aboard for Jesus. Uh, 810 United Methodist Church has been located in Aiderton since 1878. Uh, then known as Stills Chapel in honor of Mr. Robert Stills and his mother Charlotte Still. Uh, the Stills are John Robert Arnold's ancestors, which our is a, own, a happy fact. Yeah, and our own Grand Marshal, a little history. Now, I'm glad we are seeing a shot of this fellow because it took me a minute to figure out what this guy was doing on top of the float, but he is a hobo, of course, on a train. Uh, Don't you think? From the movie. From the movie, that's awesome. There you go. And they've got their bells. So this is a very spirited group all aboard for Jesus. And they did a great job. Adaton Baptist, I remember, excuse me, Adaton United Methodist, has they have won in the past. And so I'm wishing them good luck here in this parade as well. Well, I definitely think they're giving some people some run for their money tonight. Our friend Bill Green, his photography is one of our sponsors. And Bill Green Photography has been serving Starkville and the Golden Triangle for events and families and uh, you can contact him for photography needs, or you could just look for the conductor, uh, but I'm not gonna say uh, anything about Bill Green being the conductor, <laughs> but Bill Green Photography, thank you very much. Well, it looks like following behind uh, Adenton Yai Methodist, we have Boardtown Trading Post in their Chevy Canopy Express delivering Christmas. Here is a 1929 Chevy Canopy Express ton truck, all original except for the wheels and tires. Uh, it has 33 horsepower with front and back brakes, one driver and owner, Mr. Jimmy Cole. This truck is only used for delivering presents and getting the family Christmas tree. Now, Boardtown Trading Post has been in business for 20 years and has been honored as the best antique store. Boardtown is located as locally owned and Jimmy and Nora Cole by Jimmy and Nora Cole uh, and is located on South Jackson Street. And so we're glad they're joining us here. I think, I'd like to thank MSU TV Center. They are another of our sponsors for this broadcast and they've always been a huge supporter of the Starville Christmas Parade and of this broadcast, letting us use equipment and just supporting us. And uh, we thank uh, Benny and Ralph and all the powers that be out there and we appreciate the MSU TV Center. Following behind them is uh, Davis Bell Bond Company, uh, professional bells, bondmen and tax services. Uh, Snow White Polar Express Mercedes Benz trim in purple ice driven by manager uh, Phyllis Davis Weber. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from your friends at Davis Bell Bond Company. And I just saw the Brick Fire Project coming in behind them. The Brick Fire Project's entry is a dream ride through the forest on the Polar Express. 
The float represents children riding the train through the woods. The children walking beside the float will be trees, rabbits, and wolves in the forest. This is Brick Fire Project's first year participating in the Starkville Christmas Parade. Brick Fire has provided affordable child care services to many families in the Starkville community and is a 30-year-old organization serving the people of the Starkville community, the Starkville Brick Fire Project. Now let me give a shout out to Troop 45 and Mr. Alan McBroom there. You saw him in the picture. You may not know, but uh, we have a traffic control person down in the corner that helps us with the flow of the traffic because it's important to us to have enough time to talk about everybody that comes by. We want to give information and uh, remember that we can only talk about the information that, turn, that they turn into the partnership. And so uh, shout out to the folks at the partnership for putting our cards together this year. And if you are listening out there, always give us information because we want to talk nicely about your, your entry. Absolutely. And again, that's called a dream ride through the forest on the Polar Express. We'd like to thank one of our sponsors, Starkville First United Methodist Church, where actually we're located right now. Um, a special thanks to them for their support of the 2012 Christmas Parade. Uh, Starkville FUMC owns and operates WOBV5 and provides the station as a community service. Uh, Starville FUMC broadcasts weekly their traditional and contemporary services as well as special events throughout the year. Like Starville FUMC on Facebook and visit them online at growasdisciples.com. And let me mention here, a annual project is uh, the uh, Lights of Love and that is the tree on the corner here. It looks beautiful. You still have time to place a light in honor of or in memory of someone here at First United Methodist Church. Uh, it's called Lights of Love. Just call the church office to honor one of your loved ones. Looks like here we have Starkville's 2013 Distinguished Young Woman, uh, and this is Miss Holly Travis. Uh, Holly was chosen as the Distinguished Young Woman of Starkville in February of 2011, and she, she traveled to Meridian uh, in July for the state competition and was a, uh, was a winner and a uh, top 10 finalist. And so Holly has earned over $3,000 in scholarships as a result. In addition, she is the sen she's a senior at Starville High School and serves as student body president. I think that we're gonna send it down to Candace for an interview with her, with Holly. Hi, yes, I'm here with Holly Travis. Now, can you tell me some of your favorite Christmas traditions? Uh, some of my favorite Christmas traditions would definitely be playing football with my family, getting to see all my family and friends, and eat, eating lots of great food. <laughs> and what is your number one favorite Christmas carol? Uh, Deck the Halls with Boughs of Holly. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. Back to you, Mel and Hunter. And, and at school, Holly is involved uh, in Jackets in Motion, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Mu Alpha Theta, and the National Honor Society, and she was even recently selected as the senior class homecoming maid. Uh, she is a uh, senior uh, company member at the Academy uh, of Com Competitive and Performing Arts and a Brick Fire Center volunteer. Uh, Holly is an active member of the Cross Point Church and a daughter of Rick and Cynthia Travis. Thank you to Holly Travis. <clears throat> Coming up behind, the Starville Homeschool Music Cooperative. Music is sweet to the soul is their entry. They have created a musical dreamland with their band playing Christmas carols and singers singing with the band. They have been invited to sing at the state capitol on February 21st of 2013. There are about 100 kids in their homeschool music program and it offers multiple band and choir classes for homeschoolers. The Starkville Homeschool Music Cooperative wants to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Again, the Starkville Homeschool Music Cooperative. I think that's a new entry. Thank you guys for being in our parade. Looks like following behind them, we have the All-American Check Cashing uh, Company. And All-American All Check Cashing is riding in a 2009 Toyota, Toyota Camry covered in snow and snowflakes, snowflakes driven by the manager, Kevin Hill. Go and visit All-American Check Cashing where they strive to build relationships with their customers and be the top payday lender in Mississippi. All-American will also help uh, with free professional portraits with Santa on December 12th, 2012 uh, from 2 to 6 p.m. So stop by and register for the world's largest Christmas stocking also at their location. All-American Check Cashing. The Greater Starville Development Partnership has done so much 
to coordinate the parade and to, to support us at, at the broadcast. And we just want to thank them for their sponsorship and for helping us out. And they are always enhancing the quality of life for all of our citizens through business growth and job creation. And Jennifer Gregory there has had her hands full this week. Uh, she is currently at the Holiday Bazaar at the Sportsplex that's going on for the next three days. And postponing the parade. We just thank the uh, GSDP for all they do for our community and especially Jennifer Gregory. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Looks like following behind them we have the East Octibaha County Elementary School cheerleaders. Uh, these young ladies from the East Octibaha County Elementary School are members of the uh, cheerleading squad there. They range from first grade to sixth grade and these active young ladies cheer at various sporting events at the elementary level. Uh, sometimes they also cheer at high school games and events, which I imagine is a, is a cool experience. The Starville Christmas Parade, uh, moving right along. You know, we've got 80 entries. We talked about this before. We've got 80 right. entries, and, and we, like we talked about at the beginning of the parade, the judges have their work cut out for them. But, you know, the word that, the, that was described in the paper for all the decorating of the floats for the Polar Express, the word that Jennifer Gregory used was cohesiveness. Cohesiveness. And I think that we've had a very cohesive parade. I, I think so too. These, these have been some outstanding floats and I, I'm, I'm just happy. I'm excited. I, I know the judges have definitely got their work cut out for them tonight on, on trying to choose a winner and especially uh, using that criteria that we talked about earlier. And I also think that we had a great turnout considering the fact that the parade was postponed and like I was saying a minute ago when I was talking about the uh, Golden Starville Development Partnership. Two big events going on in our community at one time. The Holiday Bazaar at the Sportsplex is a huge moneymaker for our community, brings in a lot of outside folks, and um, they do a great job. Now that will be going on through Thursday. There's a, pre a preview party tonight and then all day tomorrow and all day Thursday, a great way to uh, jumpstart your holiday shopping. Now, I believe Candace is with the KMG Creations, Kayla Gilmore. Candace? Yes, I'm here with Kayla Gilmore with KMG. Can you tell me a little bit more about what KMG is? KMG Creations offers dance and fitness for children and adults ages 4 to 17. Um, we also promote high academics to have a B average. Um, we promote academics highly. We do jazz, ballet, African hip-hop at the Starkville Sports Flex. Okay, and you guys excited to be here tonight? We are very excited. Y'all still excited? We always love being a part of Starkville Christmas Parade. Well, thank y'all so much. I appreciate it. All right, Just a few moments ago, we saw the uh, Mr. and Miss uh, East Octobaha County Elementary School, um, and that, that was carrying uh, uh, Jacaria Neal, uh, who is the Miss o uh, E O C E S, and Zabian Wingo, Mr. EOCES, and so we're glad to have them participating, and they've been participating for over seven years now. Urban Radio Broadcasting has been a member uh, or a past entry into the Starwell Christmas Parade. They have 90, Power 92 Jams, Blazing Hip Hop and R&B, Joy 98.9 Inspiration Music Station, WACR 105.3 Southern Soul, and today's R&B. The Urban Radio Broadcasting family all riding together in an avalanche with their station's banners and the Santa hats while they are playing some Christmas music. And the Urban Radio, Radio Broadcasting Company would like to wish Octibaha County a Merry Christmas. And I think as you can see on the screen now are the Dazzling Dancers, who are also from East Octibaha County Elementary School. Uh, these young ladies from East Octibaha County Elementary School are members of the Dazzling Dancers Dance Troupe. They range from ages uh, first grade to sixth grade. Uh, they entertain at various school functions throughout the school year. Uh, the dancers are made up of 20 dancers and are wearing their dancing costumes, showing their school spirit. Uh, they've also participated in the Starville Christmas Parade for over seven years also. Did we see the EOCES cheerleaders? I hate to miss them if we if we missed them, uh, but well, next we have the Girl Scout Troop number 320, uh, sponsored by the First United Methodist Church, and they have created one of the Polar Express train cars. All the girls are riding above the powerful, magical Polar Express, enjoying their cup of hot chocolate. Troop 320 has participated in the Starville Christmas Parade since 1999, and they are sponsored by the First United Methodist Church. It's the largest Girl Scout troop in the Octibahaw County service with over 80 scouts and 20 leaders and they work on community projects and service Octibahaw County. That's Girl Scout Troop 320. 
Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts doing great work in our community. And the Polar Express. Now, putting you on the spot, what's your favorite Girl Scout cookie hunter? Um, Samoas. Oh, those are favorite. good ones. Uh, I'm a thin mint girl myself, oh. but the World Neighbors Organization or Association, their entry is called International Expressions, and they are wearing the native traditional clothing. Each flag the international student carries represents that student's country. And uh, the World Neighbors Association is a bridge between the international students' population and the community of Starville. And World Neighbors Association is in its 23rd year and is most known for organizing and, and uh, coordinating the annual International Fiesta uh, each spring. Uh, I, I know that the International Fiesta is a big, big deal. deal. It is, uh, and, and Candace is with a member of the World Neighbors Association. I'm here with Joan Milroy. Now, can you tell me a little bit about this organization? Yes, this is the World Neighbors Association, and we do a variety of activities during the year. They helped with the Thanksgiving dinner that was right here at the church, Methodist Church, and had 250 people attend. Um, we have the International Fiesta in the spring, and it is a wonderful event where we have entertainment all day long and games and people in costumes and displays, and it's just a wonderful way to learn about the world. Okay, great. Well, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Back to you, Mel and Hunter. Thanks so much, Candace. We're, we're glad that you... And she called up with one of them, and yes, the World I, Neighbors Association. They they do some good work with our international students, and yeah. put on some great programming in the And area. the Thanksgiving uh, lunch is a tradition. Uh, they do a great job and provide a warm, good holiday meal for a lot of folks. Looks well, like here we have the Adenton Baptist Church Awana. Uh, Awana is a children's organization at Adenton Baptist Church, which encourages children uh, to learn scripture. Awana stands for approved workmen are not ashamed. A uh, name that comes from 2 Timothy 2.15, which says, uh, Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, and who correctly handles the word of truth. Now, Edison Baptist Church Awana meets on Sunday nights at 5.50 p.m., and everyone is invited to attend. And I, for one, wish I had done a better job at scripture memory when I was a young girl, so I am proud of those children who are in the Awana programs. The treasure chest... Uh, Treasure Hunters program here at First United Methodist Church is very similar. Uh, young people learn those scripture verses. Hide them in the heart, in your heart. You might need them later. That's absolutely true. John Robert Arnold, here he comes with his carol singers. He has been our uh, parade enthusiast before the parade, our grand marshal, and now here he comes with his group of carol singers. Uh, the MSU co-ed singing Christmas carols are inviting everyone to join in and sing along and uh, John Robert has requested to sing over 35 years ago and has been singing in the Starville Christmas Parade ever since. He brings that flatbed truck from his farm in Sesums and uh, sings all, all the way through the parade route. <laughs> You know, it was a, a great choice for the two, Miss Ruby Nash and John Robert, as our Grand Marshals. Good job for the Starville Christmas Parade. You know, each parade hunter has its own personality. A lot of times it has to do with the Grand Marshal, a lot of times the theme. Uh, and this has been a great parade, a very good, high quality parade. And, and uh, good job to the parade. I come from a, a tiny South Mississippi town, and so this is, this is definitely a treat to, to see something like this that is so steeped in tradition. So. Brittany Nichols is the Tri-County Tots Little Tiny. Well, actually, I think she's the Little Tiny Tots Tri-County. And she's riding in a red convertible Mustang. And she's two years old, and her parents are Tammy Nichols and Gregory West. She's currently in the two-year-old program at Emerson Family Center, and that was Little Tiny Tots, Tri-County Brittany Nichols. Looks like behind them is the Octobaha County Relay for Life, sponsored by the Insurance Associates. Uh, dreaming of a world without cancer, free, fill the hope, capture the dream. Uh, the Octobaha County Relay for Life float was designed with a cancer patient uh, and their loved ones in mind uh, for a cancer diagnosis that is continuous uh, it is a continuous 24-7 fight for life. Uh, even while sleeping, those who have been affected by this disease dream of a world without cancer. Purple is the float color, and the university recognized uh, universal 
uh, virtually recognized as uh, representing all cancers. Uh, and those walking riding in the uh, Relay for Life float uh, wear purple in honor of those who have fought the battle and won. Uh, those who are currently fighting and in memory of those who have loved and lost. They work very hard on that. The North Mississippi Pet Supply Company was opened in August of 2010 by Thomas Gordon and Marcus Three, and they're locally owned and operated and located on Highway 12 across from Lowe's with a large selection of pet supplies. Their motto is, if we don't have it, we'll get it. And Pretty Pet Paul's Pet Grooming is located inside the store. I believe that's a new entry to the Starville Christmas Parade, North Mississippi Pet Supply. We have one last uh, sponsor that is near and dear to my heart. I appreciate the opportunity to thank the Dr. Joe Cardwell family for being a sponsor of our parade this year as always and uh, for helping us out all year long. And we'll talk more about them later. Well, that's, that sounds great. Looks like here we have uh, Miss Starkville's hospitality. And so we're glad to have her. Miss uh, Anna Marie Foster. That's right. Uh, Anna Marie is serving as uh, Starville's 2012-2013 Miss Hospitality, sponsored by the Greater Starville Development Partnership. The mission, the mission of the Mississippi uh, Miss Hospitality pageant is to identify, honor, and utilize young ladies between the ages of 18 and 24 for the purpose of promoting Mississippi's tourism industry and economic development by serving as Mississippi's goodwill ambassador. And I see she is being driven by her dad, Jeff Foster, and her mom, Barbara Foster, there riding with her. Barbara, one of the coordinators of the Relay for Life. Uh, Anna Marie does a lot of great things for our community as Miss Hospitality and is just a, a wonderful young lady from a wonderful family, thanks to Starville's Miss Hospitality. The Starville Rotary Club, the famous last entry to the to the parade, always with Santa Claus there waving at the good boys and girls. Last but not least, the Starville Rotary Club has always done a great job supporting us and building a great float. They say Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. I guess that's why the Rotary float is always the last one. <laughs> Well, Merry Christmas it will be, especially after this Christmas parade. You know, I, I understand that Santa Clauses can get sick sometimes, you know. I mean, you know, they're a, a person and, you know, maybe have heart problems and things like that. And, and uh, we're hoping that Santa Claus is feeling good and is maybe feeling better and hanging in there. And we're, we're glad he's on this float um, and, and hope he continues to, to feel strong. That's right. The Starville Rotary always has Santa Claus on their float and uh, always ends things for us. And uh, again, there was a little under 80 entries in the parade this year, Hunter. It was, it was a great parade. I still hear Mr. John Robert Arnold, our uh, <laughs> Grand Marshal, singing the songs to keep us all excited. And um, you know, it, it goes by so quickly once we get started into the parade. I know. I feel like we just started, and now it's over. This, this is going by fast, and so we're. Well, we have a special treat uh, coming up, you know. We have the conductor, and we have been uh, watching the conductor as he gives tickets to the children, boys and girls out there. And I know that the conductor uh, has some information for us and has some encouragement for the boys and girls at home because we always like for our boys and girls to tune in to the Starville Christmas Parade till the very end because they usually get a message. A uh, message from Santa Claus, and I think this year that Santa Claus sent his representative from the Polar Express, That's right. the conductor. That's right. I'm, I'm excited about our special guest coming up. Well, we're going to take a quick break and go find our conductor, and in the meantime, thank our sponsors. So if you'll stay tuned, we'll be back in just a moment with the conductor from the Polar Express. Backstage music. Rodan and Fields Dermatologists. Soli Pools. RSC Equipment Rentals of Starkville. Ziggy's Buy and Sell. Video Magic One. Bill Green Photography. Hydra Hawk. The MSU TV Center. The Starkville GSDP. And by First United Methodist Church of Starkville.
We're so glad that you're back with us here uh, for the 2012 production of the Starville Christmas Parade. Uh, we're here with a, we're joined by a special guest, uh, the conductor. We're so glad that you're here with us. Thank you for having me. This has been a wonderful parade tonight, absolutely wonderful. But you know, we're running late on schedule, so we're going to have to hurry up with this and because uh, we've got to get to the North Pole here very soon, tonight. Well, well, we've got to get rolling. Well, tell me about the children that you select to uh, ride on the Polar Express. I mean, these have got to be some special children, right? They are very special children indeed. These are all ones that Santa Claus wants to work with. And he has given me a list of ones that I need to visit in the crowd, which I've done. Oh. I have handed out many tickets tonight. And every one of these kids are riding with us in just a few minutes. I've got to punch their tickets, though. If How you exciting. don't have the ticket, we're going to throw you off the train. How exciting. Absolutely. Now, now you know, usually when, when Santa Claus is here with us, he has some special words for the boys and girls. And I know that the, the girls and boys in Starville have been nice and not naughty. And I'm sure that, that riding the Polar Express, just like uh, Santa Claus coming to visit you, you you got to be on your P's and Q's and be a pretty good child. You've got to be a very good child. Something I like to say to everyone is that sometimes seeing is believing. And sometimes the most real things in the world are the things we can't see. That's, That's right. exactly right. We might not see Santa Claus, but you have to believe in him that's because true. he is the most wonderful man at Christmas. There you go. Other than Jesus. And amen, and that's the reason for the season. I'm glad you brought that up, Mr. Conductor, because of course, the whole idea of gift giving came from the greatest gift of all, which of course was the birth of Jesus Christ, his life, his death, Absolutely. his resurrection, and the, and the salvation that we have, our eternal mm -hmm. life. And, and the celebration of Jesus is the reason for the season. We need to keep that first and foremost. That's don't right. We, and sometimes it's really hard to do that, but it's always a great reminder uh, to us to, to remember the reason for the season. Mm -hmm. That is Jesus. But, you know, it's it's great that, that our kids can, can also join in with the fun. So. Absolutely. And, you know, the, the book, The Polar Express, is not only a sweet, sweet story, but it was beautifully illustrated. And we appreciate our senior minister here at First United Methodist Church reading that book, The Polar Express, and uh, was... It, that was aired on a program that we pre-recorded earlier in the week that will also be shown before the Starbuck Christmas Parade is replayed. And so that's, that's right. a sweet story that I'd encourage you to listen to Brother Giles Lindley read and to see the movie. Mm -hmm. Just get yourself in the holiday spirit because that's what it's about. Absolutely. Now, I have a question and I have it right back here, Mr. Conductor. Tell me about the bell. What's with the bell? The bell is the most perfect symbol that we have of the Polar Express, but this is a bell that Santa Claus gave. And if you hear the bell, you believe. We hope that you never ever get to where you can't hear the bell. That is so important. I hear the bell. I, I hear it too. I really hear, I hear the, the bell. bell and I hope you hear it also. Yeah, I think they hear it at home. That's why I'm ringing it. Do you hear it? You know, my mother used to say, if you don't believe, you won't come see us. So I don't know, you know, but this whole uh, believe in the in the bill, this has been a great theme for a great Christmas parade. That's right. I'm excited. Now, you were on the street there, Mr. Conductor. You saw the entries. Did you have any favorites? Uh, you know, I know the judges right now are working hard to tabulate their uh, prize points. And did you see anything that you particularly liked? I loved every one of them. Now, I really did like seeing Ruby Nash Davis riding at the front end of the parade. That was special to see her in there. 87 years old. And we had another 100-year-old entrant That's out right. there also. That's right. And she was special. She has a ticket also. Very good, because you see, the spirit of Christmas, uh, it crosses all ages. Mm -hmm. well, now, I'm sorry, go ahead. I have gone ahead and punched you a special ticket. Oh. You can see it says F-U-M-C. Thank you so Thank much, you. my ticket. Well, this is great. Well, I'm hearing that our judges have made their decisions. And so, Mr. Conductor, let us thank you for being here. Well, we're going to go to a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to have the winners of the 2012 Starville Christmas Parade. We're running late. We've got to get on schedule. All aboard. We'd like to thank this year's sponsors of the Polar Express, the 2012 Starkville Christmas Parade. Backstage Music. Rodan and Fields Dermatologists. Soli Pools. RSC Equipment Rentals of Starkville. 
Ziggy's Buy and Sell. Video Magic One. Bill Green Photography. Hydra Hawk. The MSU TV Center. The Starkville GSDP. And by First United Methodist Church of Starkville. And welcome back as we conclude the 2012 Starkville Christmas Parade live broadcast. You know, the judges had their work cut out for them, but it's my That's understanding right. that Candace is with the judges and they have their winners. Candace, Tell us who yes, won. Yes, I'm here with the judges now, and they have reached a decision. Now, I know we've seen a lot of beautiful floats here tonight. Can you tell me how hard this decision was? It was a very hard decision. There were many, many good floats that came through, and we were so excited about judging them. But it, it was a hard choice, but we, we made a decision. Okay, now can you tell me what the winners oh, of the different categories are? We were judging the best theme, which was the Polar Express, the best use of lights, and then we were judging the best overall winner. And it was a very hard choice. We had a lot of great floats. So who are these winners tonight? For best use of theme, Cub Scout 45. For best use of lights, the Starkville Homeschool Music Cooperative. And for the best overall float, the Raspit Flight Research Lab. Well, there we have it. The Raspit Flight is the first place winner. Thanks so much, you guys. Back to you. And speaking of thank yous, we have a lot of thank yous. Thank you to the judges. Thank you to the entries. Thank you especially to the partnership for all their hard work. Uh, it's going to take me just a minute, but I hate to leave anybody out because the production of the Star Wars Christmas Parade is such a big deal that people uh, deserve to be thanked. That's right. First of all, we'd like to thank our executive producer, Ms. Karen Dampier, the producer, Bill Green, and our producer, Stephen Tribble, that has done such a great job. Our director of over 25 years, Mr. Ralph Oliveri, thank you. Our engineer of almost 25 years, Mr. Olin Booth, what a great guy, thank you very much. Our studio engineer is Zach Ashmore. Our stage manager here for us is Lynn McBroom, and we thank her for our stage design and for keeping us in control here Absolutely. tonight. Audio is the professional, Ross Swanner. The audio assistant, uh, Bill Green, <clears throat> the conductor. Uh, graphics, Laura Kate Watts. And on our camera here, Lisa Ashmore. Thank you very much, Lisa. Camera two was Leslie Watts, Andy Bryant on camera three, and Patrick Wiggins on camera four. We said thanks again to Troop 45 and Mr. Allie McBroom and his helper was Tom Morgan for our crowd control. Some special thanks. We talked about uh, Lisa Ashmore. She got our lunch together for us today, and Miss Lynn Birch is in charge of our dinner tonight. Thank you, all the staff at First United Methodist Church, and especially our minister staff, That's our right. senior minister, Giles Lindley, our associate minister, uh, David Shoemaker. We talked about the lights of love. Call and uh, reserve a light of love in memory or in honor of someone special. Now, Hunter, this was your first Starville Christmas Parade. This was. What did you think? I, I think it really was magical. I, I you know, I, I'm grateful that the Greater Starville Development uh, Partnership really, really did a good job of keeping everybody uh, in line and, and getting them all on the same theme of, of the Polar Express. And I, I think everyone just did an outstanding job. This is this is by far the the best Christmas parade I've ever seen in my life. Oh and yeah. So I'm, Blessed to have been a part of it. Now, yeah, so. and thank you so much. You know, we mentioned the Joe Cardwell family earlier, and, you know, I just, Dr. Joe was always on camera one, which was the talent camera, mm -hmm. and just a faithful member of our TV crew. And a symbol that we use to remember Dr. Joe Cardwell is a square knot. Now, Dr. Joe once said in an interview of a, a potential media director here at First Methodist that if you didn't understand the basics, then you couldn't have a very strong foundation to build on. And uh, he put the uh, candidate for the job on the spot and said, can you tie a square knot? <laughs> well, you know, Dr. Joe was right about that. And we, we here at First United Methodist Church understand that that basic is the love of Christ and our relationship with him. And it's just awesome that we have this platform even the Starkville Christmas Parade, a Absolutely. community service, but a time to be thankful. Absolutely. And I am thankful. Me too. Me too. Thank you so much for letting me be a part yeah. of it. And just yeah. And we want to thank Candace, 
uh, who is our field yes. reporter. So she's going to come up and, and offer us her impression of the Starville Christmas Parade, and we'll wrap up after that. But again, thanks to our sponsors. So we're going to take a quick break, bring Candace on, and then conclude the 2012 Starville Christmas Parade broadcast. We'd like to thank this year's sponsors of the Polar Express, the 2012 Starkville Christmas Parade. Backstage Music. Rodan and Fields Dermatologists. Soli Pools. RSC Equipment Rentals of Starkville. Ziggy's Buy and Sell. Video Magic One. Bill Green Photography. Hydra Hawk. The MSU TV Center. The Starkville GSDP. And by First United Methodist Church of Starkville. And we're back and we're joined now with Miss Candace Barnett, who has been our on the street uh, reporter. And so we're so glad that you're joining us here in the studio. I'm so glad to be here. Thanks so much for having me, you guys. Well, we thank you so much for what you've done and the service that you've provided for us tonight on the street. And so uh, we're just glad that you're here. And I'd like to ask you, are you completely frozen? <laughs> um, just mildly frozen. It's but it's so worth it. It's fantastic to be out there and see all these different uh, people and all of the floats. It's just magical and it really puts you in the Christmas spirit. Doesn't it though? Absolutely. And you know, you said earlier that you were from Caledonia. Yes. Uh, are you used to Christmas parades like this? <laughs> it's always nice to ask someone from out of the community. You, you're representing Mississippi State University in, the, uh, in your major broadcast journalism tonight, yes. but you're not from this area, right? No, I'm from Caledonia, which is a very small town in Mississippi. Uh, not too many people have heard of it. I get a lot of blank stares, but uh, we've never had a Christmas parade of this magnitude. We do have Christmas parades, but this was this was really fantastic to see. And so much work. And of course, you're you study this in school, so you know that these broadcasts just don't happen. Oh, a lot no. of work. Oh no, not at all. <laughs> it's a lot of work that goes into it, both here. On, on set in the studio and behind the scenes there are so many people working to be able to make this happen and we're seeing a shot a rare shot of the studio there and how folks are doing their jobs in there to make this possible the folks in the media ministry here at First United Methodist Church there is our producer Stephen Tribble we thank Stephen for giving us the right instructions tonight keeping us on track and and just thanks to everybody what a blessing it is to be a part of this group uh, we missed our original co-host, uh, Miss Lynn Phillips Gaines. Uh, she'll be back next year uh, and help do a pre-parade program yesterday. Hunter, you did a great job. Well, Candace, you. you did a great job. Thank Everybody, you so much. what a blessing this is. And the whole Polar Express theme, you know, I'm asking ladies and gentlemen, do you hear the bell? I hear the bell. That means we believe. <laughs> Thank you so much to everyone for joining us. Thanks to the crew, the volunteers, the participants. It has been a great blessing once again. So now we will close our production of the 2012 Starville Christmas Parade.